Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Journey Teachers. So today we are with Christides from the Life Sciences Department who are going to share their student experiences. So let's hear from them. Let's begin with a brief introduction about both of you. You can tell your name and the course which you are studying. So I am Meghla Rixen uh, from BSc BCC and I am from the Life Science Department. I am Ruya Maran Robert of Life Science Department itself studying BSc Biotechnology Chemistry Zoology. All right, thank you so much and thank you so much for agreeing for the interview. Uh, okay, so the first question for you is how what your experience about the student life and university life at Christ? Um speaking about university life, uh so I was basically from, I'm basically from Kerala. So, uh when I came here, it was a different experience for me. I had a great exposure and uh we we can meet many many different lifestyles and many different types of peoples here so we get to know about them then there are many fest and things uh, conducting here then we will get a mini exposure here so we also have department fest here so by that we get mini exposure etc all right thank you so much that's really wonderful and you know uh, glad to hear that from you so um, some advice for the aspiring students in terms of the application and selection process uh, maybe you can tell something from your personal experience so um, uh, we were covid batch so at that time uh, basically the normal uh, application processes we'll have an uh, cut test then we'll have an interview then uh, that was a normal process but at our time uh, our courses were not having a uh, test we were only having interview so for interview basically the uh, syllabus were only from our um, plus 2 plus 1 that is 12th and 11th grade only then afterwards we had a micro presentation which was a general topic All right that was really great because like you know uh, interview and micro presentation are something which Christ eventually looks for and this is what you know students really have to ace it so um talking about the entrance exam is an interview so would you like to give some insights into you know the common questions or uh, how was your experience or some advice for the aspiring student to actually take care of these things questions are from the same plus 2 uh, syllabus itself talking about the plus 2 syllabus um, i was from C- cbsc so syllabus is the same thing biotechnology chemistry zoology is the same thing that we studied in this plus 2 the uh, micro presentation is also from that uh, particular part itself for 10 minutes we have to speak on spot yeah so um, you know micro presentation is something which actually assess your skills and your ability to think at that particular moment of time on the spot and you know just get to the point okay so talking about the faculty also so uh, what do you guys think about the faculty so speaking about the faculty uh, uh, from our department they are the be- uh, best faculties which they could offer us because uh, they not only teach the syllabus they also give us some extra knowledge about the topics and which is very useful for us for our future competitive examinations and they give us very different assignments so that we could think a lot about it and we could apply our knowledge into it and so that's it All right so it seems that the faculty of the life, life sciences department and in fact talking about all the departments across Christ are surely surely you know uh, knowledgeable and they share the best they can with the students okay so um, what do the uh, life sciences departments the course curriculum which was studying looks like and you know what are the activities and programs which uh, uh, you know you guys engage into so what's the routine of the students actually look like actually for our course um, two departments are there first is life science then department of chemistry so actually parent uh, department is life science so in chemistry uh, talking about that uh, in first semester it's basics basic chemistry in um, first two semesters it's basic chemistry then after that organic chemistry analytical chemistry 
then physical chemistry and organic chemistry then value added courses will be there in sixth semester and fifth semester then uh, there are open elec- sorry elective courses also in sixth and fifth semester so by that we can increase our credits and all by studying value added courses and in life science biotech and uh, zoology comes under life science department so um, the same uh, we had different m- m- sub subjects coming under that and on top of that in fifth and sixth semester uh, we have value added courses so she mentioned about value added courses so we can take it either from chemistry or from life science it's our choice and also we have uh, compulsory elective courses uh, which will help us to increase our credits and then we have uh, each subject will be taken by two teachers so <coughs> Uh, so we will be having uh, continuous internal assessment that is cia so we will be having three cias that is ca1 ca2 and ca3 so ca2 is mid sems and ca1 and ca2 uh, it will be either an assignment or it will be mcq test like uh, things so uh, from each teachers there will be one component each so it depends on the teachers how they give and the most crucial thing in crisis we have to submit the cia on time thank you right so that's really a complete overview of what are the you know sub topics and what are the uh, you know kind of um, topics taught into the uh, department so i also want to ask you about the activities and various fests your department conducts so if you guys can give some insights about the same in life science department there is imbibe the, uh, where cl- uh, class culturals are done then there are many um, games and all conducted in the same and by that particular fest itself then in chemistry there is spirits it was i think it is only till this year only in next years it will not be then that's it about our department fest and adding to it uh, i think uh, our you know uh, our juniors was the last batch which was not following the new national education policy so from next year onwards i think this coming academic year onwards uh, our course won't be more available it will be basically uh, two major courses three major won't be available so that's why this department of chemistry is not conducting uh, the spirits culturals Okay so that is the really you know updated information which you guys have got and make the best use out of it so um the next question for you guys is what are the common career options or maybe you know uh, how many students go for masters or what are the placements so if you guys want to talk about that so uh, speaking about the placements that our teachers mainly recommend us not to uh, take placements in this uh, bsc level because there is of no use instead uh, they opt us for go for more internship so that we get more exposure and experience in that field of in that field then uh, career we are uh, that is we are having three major so we can choose any one major in the master so i think most of our seniors are doing masters and phd afterwards and some are uh, doing it in uh, india only and others are opting for most of them are opting for germany if it is for biotechnology so that's it all right so students mostly prefer to go for masters this is what you know i've understood so uh, what would be your overall advice for anybody who wants to get into kshist particularly studying your course or you know what you have to say about that your last uh, takes on that uh that is our um, frankly speaking life science department is too strict so we have to be well prepared for it <laughs> we were not knowing it actually but uh, it's okay we, we we will be able to be punctual about things and we'll be hard working on it and we'll be able to submit the things on time and if not <laughs> it's not going to work here so uh, we need to be punctual punctual that's the most important thing we have to do in christ uh, so that's it thank you so much guys and it was wonderful so christ actually you know de- makes you discipline and it actually prepares you for the outside world and uh, prepares you for life so uh, i hope you guys got in- some insights about the life sciences department and the chemistry department as well so um, thank you so much and it was wonderful to have you here